My name is Betsy Davidson. I'm 57 years old. I live in Huntington Bay, New York, and I'm voting for Hillary Clinton. I come from a long line of Democratic women. The summer of 1974, I must have been 15 years old, and my grandmother and her sister spent the entire summer watching the Watergate hearings. This is my grandmother and my mom and me. That's you, is it? That's me. That was the day I was baptized, actually. And my grandmother would be sitting on the phone sending telegrams to Washington demanding that Richard Nixon resign. What kind of impact do you think that had on you, to see that as a 15-year-old? It had a profound impact. I couldn't wait to turn 18 and vote. I got chills when she was, you know, when she became the presumptive nominee. Thanks to you, we reached a milestone. You know, my great-grandmother, her mother probably couldn't vote. So the idea that, that 100 years later, we're voting for a woman. Yeah, I feel like I'm part of history. It's not the reason that I'm voting for Hillary Clinton is that she's a woman. I just believe that she is completely qualified and capable to, you know, start on day one. The top issue for me is national security. Why is that? I have uh, three children. All three children have served in our government. Two are on active duty. Uh, my daughter is a lieutenant in the Coast Guard and has been deployed. My son, my youngest, is a lieutenant, a lieutenant JG in the Navy. He's a helicopter pilot. And you've got a lot of photos of your kids in uniform here. Yeah, well, they, they wear uniforms, yeah. that's for sure. So when it comes to foreign policy, Clinton has a reputation for actually being pretty hawkish mm -hmm. among Democrats, but even compared to the Republicans. So how does that square with you? My kids are too old for this mom to be telling them to watching their back. But the idea that another mom would have my children's back does make it a tiny, not totally easy, but a tiny bit easier to put my head on the pillow at night. I, I trust Hillary implicitly to make the right decisions for my, you know, for the country and for my children. Donald Trump's references to um, ethnic groups, in particular banning all, you know, non-American Muslims from coming into this country, building a wall with Mexico, those two things particularly resonate with me. One of my grandsons has a, a mother who's Muslim. My other grandson's uh, father and his grandparents were born in Mexico. They're three and a, three and a four and almost three years old. And they are, um, they're, they're good pals, two, two crazy guys. You know, you hear tales of kids being taunted in a playground, you know, because of their name, you know, because of their ethnic group, makes my blood run cold. You know, it's, it's, these are my grandchildren, and this grandmother just feels she has to do whatever she can do to protect, you know, her family. Now, this is a walk you do every day? I do this pretty much every day. I'm so fortunate, blessed to be able to live two blocks from, from Huntington Bay. I do want to ask you this, though, too. For the people who look at the candidates and say, I want an outsider. I want someone who's not part of the system because the system hasn't worked for mm -hmm. me. What do you say to that? I would say I'm not opposed to an outsider, but I'm opposed, strongly opposed to this outsider. I think that we're on the right path, and and I and I don't I, I don't see Donald Trump as being able to um, at all address the needs of those who are um, less fortunate than I am. I'm going to vote for Hillary Clinton on November 8th because she is tested and she is steadfast and I trust her implicitly to watch over my children and my grandchildren.